it's it's also an Atenea thing to have a really good setter. Mm-hmm. Because I mean, before you became the starting setter, Dina, in season 80, you know, you had Jem Ferrer, who was a three-time UAP best setter, of course, Gio Morado, and then it was you. Well, what what type of pressure is present when you know that you have to be the setter for the Ateneo Lady Eagles. Like, nung sinabi na sa'yo na, okay, you're going to be the starting setter of this team. You're going to run the show. What were you feeling? What was your mindset during that year, your third year with the Lady Eagles? I think it was me more thinking of kung kaya ko ba to. Ganito. Like, um, yun nga, as you mentioned, sila Ate Jem, sila Ate Gia, they're really great setters. And for me, it's just, I came from a province, um, I don't know anything, ganito, ganyan. And hindi ako medyo ginagamit ni Coach Tay dati, ayan. So it was really, it was really, hindi na, pressured, yeah. I think it was a little pressure. Pero sa isip ko lang, sinasabi ko kung kaya ko bang dalhin yung team, kung kaya ko bang gagawin yung ginawa nila Ate Gia na amabot sa finals and I think that was the point na kaya kaya hindi kami umabot ng finals kasi ganun yung iniisip ko. So, parang ano, na-disappointed din siguro sa self ko kasi I wasn't able to lead the team as I should have kasi ang dami kong iniisip eh, ang dami kong iniisip ko yung anong sasabihin ng mga tao, ng alumni, ng mga fans. So, I no for fear, it was more of the team na pinofocus ko. So, ayun. Um, I just I just did what I was supposed to do lang nung fourth year. So, hindi ko na masyadong pinapansin yung mga sinasabi ng ibang tao. Ayun. Kasi, as uh, what Ate Gia keep on telling me naman talaga, iba kami eh. We're different people. Like, yeah. don't compare yourself to her daw. I mean, I don't compare myself to her kasi iba yung kakayanin ko. Iba yung pwede kong gawin. So, just be myself daw. And, most especially talaga, ito talaga be confident. Kasi I really lack confidence on myself talaga. That was also one thing why I was so shy no first year. Kasi for me, I didn't feel like I belong sa Manila. Kasi taga-province lang. So, ayun, that was in my mind lang all the time. What was the turning point? If, if you were shy before, what was the turning point na, yun nga, binago mo yung, nagbago yung ugali mo na you developed that confidence? Um, sabi ko sa sarili ko, the team really needs me. Kasi it's a team effort, Ed. Um, we can't just do it individually. Like, we really need each other. And laging sinasabi nila, Ate Bea, yun. as in lagi, like, sinasabi nila, wag mo nang isipin yung libero kasi setter ka na ngayon. Kasi sabi ko, gusto ko talaga libero na lang, eh, ganito, ganyan. And they kept on telling me, move on na, please, kasi we really need you. Sila Ate Matt, sila Ate Kat, all my seniors. And, Ayun, um, yun, iniisip ko talaga na, oh nga no, like, um, I have no choice. I mean, I have a choice. Pero, the choice na dapat yung tamang choice yung gagawin. So, yun yung turning point ko. Like, I really just thought of the team. And also, coach tayo, syempre, um, we're expecting great things naman of me. So, I didn't wanna let him down. I didn't wanna let my teammates down lalo. So, ayun. Al- alam mo din na uh, just listening mm. to Dina, um, nararamdaman ko yung, ano eh, y- yung parang bigat na mm-hmm. that, that she was carrying mm-hmm. all throughout that year, that particular season. And I think you let it out, Dina. I, I think you-, you let it out. To me, I think one of your most signature UAAP moments, huh? and-, and I think like a lot of fans will, will agree with me on this, um, there, was- there was a gif that came out on, on Twitter. And um, I, I think you know where I'm going with this. Game number three <laughs> of the finals, <laughs> Atenea versus UST. Okay. And it was set number three. You guys were up six to five. Sinet yung bola. Alina Bikar <laughs> sets it up for CC Rondina. Sinabayan mo, and you blocked her. And then you turned around, and then... Let's just say you let your emotions out. You let everything that you were carrying that year out. Like, ano yung nararamdaman mo during that moment na block mo yung MVP? Everybody was going crazy. 
Like, do you remember that moment? Yeah. Everyone kept on reminding me because, like, sobrang di ko alam. Sobrang di ko alam na nasabi ko yun. Like, nagulat na ako sila ate Ella. They told me after the game na gumanon pala ako. And then, ayun, I think it was parang nadala na lahat na nangyayari. Di lang siya na yun. That year na coach was our coach. So, nadadala lang. And um, I think it was also yung release of expression lang kasi um, nahirapan ako mag-block eh. It was weird. Nahirapan ako mag-block during that season. Kasi, ayun nga, um, na in- yung dahil sa injury ko, hindi ako makatalo ng maayos. Tapos, ayun, nilalabas ko lang lahat. <laughs> kasi, um, I think that was the first time I blocked CC nung the entire season. Wow. So, lagi akong, lagi kasi akong sinicheck out eh. Nairita uh. ako eh. <laughs> <laughs> kaya lang mo na. Kaya lang mo na. Bakit ayaw mo mo check out? <laughs> so, so, it was really, it was really, ano, I was overwhelmed lang siguro and sobrang na ano ko. And it was intense, ha? It was set. Yeah, it was. Hmm. So, so intense. 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 And, and kasi yung UST din, um, Ang dami nilang, ang, ang nagtra-trash talk din sila. So, kaya na, ano din ako, natamaan din ako. So, ayun, it was a release of expression lang. It, it, it's it's forever going to be in the history of the UAAP, that, that, that Di signature moment. Hindi ko gets kasi, moment. bakit ako yung pinofocus? <laughs> Ikaw yung nakablock eh. Hindi kasi, hindi, hindi, naman, hindi naman halata na it was me who blocked. Pwede naman si Ate Man. Kasi Ate Man is known for blocking. And I didn't know, that, that's alam true. nila. Even the announcer diba? said Madi Madayag. Yeah, but the, I didn't know it was, it was yeah. me na na video. So, sobrang na ano ko. Bakit naman ako na hala, hindi halata sa block na Minati Mads? Kasi it was side view. So, hmm. I didn't know why. So I, 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 th- I think I know. It's because there's also a camera angle and the directors of ABS-CBN, they see the angle. So, even though the main camera was shown on the TV, it was side view, they saw that it was actually you who blocked. But mm. any, but, but but anyway, I'm sure it felt good naman, Dina, to you yeah. know, release all of that. <laughs> it's never gonna be on the internet. All is really. So, Dina. Buti hindi, ano, buti walang sounds. Dina. <laughs> 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 so iba, sorry, I'm so iba, sorry. Iba, iba talaga, iba talaga, boss Dina. <laughs> so after all that, all of those struggles and challenges, moments after, you're a UAP champion. What's the feeling like that after everything you went through, the champion ka? Um, nakainga, nakainga. <laughs> so it was really overwhelming. I was really happy. Happy talaga. Kasi ever since naman I came in to Ateneo, that has been my dream ever since. So, um, sobrang saya lang. Um, nakita naman na umiiyak kami lahat, di ba? Sa worth it lahat ng pagod. So, it was really super overwhelming kasi sobrang worth it lahat yung pinagpagura namin, iniiyak namin sa training. Um, so, super worth it. Super happy lang. Super happy, super blessed. Ayan, and thankful talaga. And is that a familiar description, familiar feeling as, as what she just described? Totoo yung nakahinga. Kasi wala ka ng twice a day training na iisipin. <laughs> the following day. Beach, beach na iisipin. <laughs> Oo, beach na travel, mga ka-uwi ka na, yeah. your family, di ba? True, super true. Ano ba yung reward niyo, Dina, after winning the championship? Yung Boracay trip. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Nice. Fun. Thank you for watching Volleyball DNA. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified for future episodes and interview highlights. And while you're at it, head over to our Facebook page by clicking on the link in the description.